So, 2020, a year of uncertainty. Normally, summers in Winnipeg are busy, exciting, and full of life. But thanks to this thing called COVID-19, it turned our city upside down. This pandemic took a toll on our small businesses. So for this video series, we want to promote these small businesses and ultimately promote our beloved city. So for this episode, I decided to take some of my friends who've never been here to try out, in my opinion, the best crepe in Winnipeg, a taste of France. My grandma used to be a crepe maker. Oh. We, we kind of uh, live here in Winnipeg back in the days and uh, after went back home in France and we run a business in France for seven years with success and actually it was more like a North American style coffee with smoothies, cheesecake, clubhouse sandwich and stuff like that in Brittany and it was tons of crepery and we will come back see our friends here and see like how the city was growing you know and opportunities and no real French crepery and in San Boniface you know like, yeah. come on. Come on. so me and my wife uh, we decide to get a new challenge in our life and say okay we have to come back in Winnipeg and now share our culture and you know bring that flavor in in Manitoba, so there we are. That's Thank awesome. You for that. <laughs> I mean, that smells pretty. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Make it hard to Yum. This is the gluten free, dairy free, healthier. Also, doesn't give me diarrhea. Oh, oh it's so beautiful. Be careful, I'm not gonna let it be. What if we have the We have everything cooked with the ball. Good catering. Bon appetit, mon ami. Ah, thank you, merci. Who's been here before? Not any of us. None of us. Excellent. Uh, bon appetit, guys. Go thank ahead. you. Muchas gracias. <laughs> merci beaucoup. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. I can't, I can't use it. That is wonderful. Mm. What's yours all got in it? Oh, there's bacon? No. Oh. <laughs> Smoked beef. That's better. Even better. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Yeah. How's yours, Emma? Banana chocolate. Look at that. Banana. This is a good amount of bananas, also. <laughs> this reminds me of eating food in Italy. Oh, that's nice. None of the weird crepes, but we had this thing called a, a yeah, farinata. Yeah, that's why I it back. <laughs> Remember, this, this is very reminiscent of Farinata. You touch yes. it. What if Jelena, that looks like the most epic food. It's amazing. It's really hard to eat, but so worth it. I'm gonna be like covered in whipped cream and this caramel their, sauce. So this is their daily special. Mm -hmm. oh, so I don't yeah. even, it's just like fruit and whipped cream and ice cream and salted caramel, I think. And like he was just describing it and I was like, I changed my mind like immediately. Cause I was like, oh, that just sounds amazing. I'm almost done. This is so good. Just try it. <laughs> it's a hungry man. I think this is the best savory crepe I've had. Oh, snap. <laughs> That's a so, good comment. It's so simple. Whoa! <laughs> I've had a lot of crepes. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> I, I don't know. I want to eat this slowly and enjoy it, you know? Um, I ate mine too. Oh, you're gone? Yours is gone now. <laughs> you're gone. I'm gone. This chocolate sauce is oh, for real no, good. I just I, it's I bite like, it all off. I don't. It doesn't like. <laughs> it's actually good. <laughs> I made it do that. Oh. <laughs> and they're so they're so green. Wow. They had wooden utensils and cardboard to recycle. Yeah. Save the earth. Let's go get some more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. We use buckwheat actually because it's uh, part of the history in uh, Brittany, in France. Okay. The plant came from Asia. And in France at that time in Brittany was very poor and uh, the buckwheat was very easy to grow and so they raised that, that plant after 120 days like he was ready to cut it from the, the fields so they make a flower with that and they just have some water, sea salt 
and it was a batter ready. And they used to have this big run pan, but on the fireplace. So that's when they stopped making the first scrapes. But back in the 1650, so it became the bread of the poor Britain people. Wow. And since then, it's a big tradition. So it was just like straight buckwheat, eating the crepes like that. And after they did that, some butter. And now in France, the egg, the cheese, the ham, of course, become like a, a dish very popular. It's ready for a crepe. Ready for my crepe. Keeping warm. Gonna eat in St. Boniface. <laughs> 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 All right. Bon appétit! Oh. Merci beaucoup! Oh, I know! Oh, no. It's a surprise! It's a surprise! I'm so excited! Merci beaucoup! Excited! Okay. Alright! Oh, shall we dig in, ladies and gentlemen? Second round. Wait, what's the proper way to do this? Now, you've all, now this is all buckwheat now, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! For history! For me, it's necessity, but. <laughs> oh! Surprise. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> Aren't you there? So like, far, well, no difference? Well, you can definitely taste, like, smell the buckwheat, which is, that means it's real. <laughs> ham? Yeah, we've got ham, we've got onions, there's mushrooms in here, cheese, egg. No, not ham, sorry, smoked beef. Uh, uh, oh no. You got ham, you got right? the ham. I got ham. Guys, I both have the sweet crepe. Now you are having the same What do you guys yeah. think? I don't know. They're both like so good. I don't know which one I like better. I think it would depend on my mood. 100%. Um, but yeah, this is definitely amazing. I love it. They've it's done like, both well, which is, yes. I think, the hard yes. part. So if you find yourself in St. Norbert or the Forks, or St. Boniface, be sure to visit Kerr Breck. The crepes are delicious and the owners are wonderful people. Go and support them. Support local. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Film Flipside. You know in a video game, they have bosses? Yes. Opening, this is my video game boss right now. This is your final yeah, boss. Yeah, the higher the level, boss. you know the boss gets bigger. This is bigger. your final boss? <laughs> yeah, opening, opening the cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> to get to the sweet, sweet reward! <laughs> what? She has to defeat the boss. <laughs>